The first newspaper in India was published on January 29, 1780, by James Augustus Hickey under the British Raj. Its name was the Bengal Gazette. It was also called as Calcutta General Advertiser, and people simply remember it as Hickey's Gazette. It was very a small two-sheet weekly newspaper. And the paper was filled with lots of advertisements with the name, the Calcutta General Advertiser. In fact, its front page was filled with advertisements only. After few months of Hickey's paper, Messer B. Messink, and Peter Reed, brought out the Indian Gazette in November 1780. Many other newspapers were also started, namely Calcutta Gazette, and the Bengal Journal. In 1785, Richard Johnson, brought out the Madras Courier, in English language. R. Williams, Madras Gazette, in 1795, and Humphreys, India Herald, in 1796. This period was marked by, strict government control, and censorship. If any newspaper used to print, any news against the government, then strict punishment was given. Therefore, in the late 18th century, and early 19th century, no reputed journalist or newspaper emerged. Then some merchants of Calcutta, in 1811 started Calcutta Chronicle, and the editor was James Silk Buckingham. He had introduced a new approach to journalism in India. He initiated clear journalistic practices, and covered the problems of local people and their lives. He had even started a movement, against the evil practice of Saudi. Then, Rajaram Mohan Roy, a social reformer, recognized the power of newspapers, and started a Bengali newspaper, Sambad Kamudi, in 1822, and a Persian paper, Murat El Akbar. While, Fardayanji Mertban, started Bombay Samachar, he was a pioneer of the vernacular press in Bombay. In 1861, the first edition of, The Times of India, was published by Robert Knight. Up to 1947, this newspaper continued to support the causes of Britishers. Now after more than 150 years of service, Times of India has grown to be the biggest English daily in the country. In 1868, Amrit Bazar Patrika was started by two brothers, Shishir Kumar Ghosh and Modi Lal Ghosh. This was the time when social reformers and political leaders had started contributing to the field of journalism, including C. Y. Chintamani, N. C. Kelkar, Feroz Ashamekta. During the British rule, Indian newspapers came into existence, and played an important role in the country's freedom struggle. In fact, newspapers worked as mouthpieces of the freedom struggle, whether at the national level, or regional level. Bail Gangadhar Tilak started, Kasari, whereas Mahatma Gandhi started, Young India, and Harijan. And Jawaharlal Nehru started, The National Herald. Now after independence, Indian newspapers started playing the role of a watchdog, and also have been playing the role of catalytic agent, to hasten the process of social, and economic development in the country. However, Indian newspapers are characterized by their overt emphasis on politics and crime. But now, Indian newspapers have a lot of entertainment content in their columns, with color pages and new designs. As television, and internet emerge, it is said that newspapers are becoming irrelevant, in terms of providing the latest news. But nowadays, many newspapers in India, and in the world, to some extent, have started providing analysis of news as well. The need of print media is to understand the importance of its power and reach. So, they should provide the true picture of the society as a whole.